Hey folks, today Microsoft announced the general availability of the conditional access overview dashboard and the conditional access templates. So let's take a quick walkthrough of how that looks. Uh, let me head over to adca.cmd.ms. That will take me into the conditional access blade. I'll click over to the overview blade where you can see a nice dashboard of what's happening with conditional access in your tenant. Uh, you can see in this tenant that I'm logged in, there are 35 policies enabled, 13 report only, and five off. Now, the neat thing here is at a quick glance, you can call out um, that there are 76 users that are signing in without any CA policies being applied. So if you click through to see all unprotected sign-ins, you can actually see the filter is applied um, to show the sign-ins where policies are not applied, and you can get a sense of who the users are that you need to apply the policies to. Uh, in the same way with devices, you can view the uh, non-compliant devices that are and going through the without conditional access being applied to them. So you have a list over there. You can also see all the unmanaged devices that are signing in. These could be ones that are actually registered, but not um, managed by your MDM. So you can see this filter applied. So really quick uh, way to see what's happening in the tenant. And uh, the neat one here is the looking at the top unprotected apps, you can also see that if you switch over to the coverage um, blade, you'll be able to see all of the apps that the mostly used apps where there are no conditional access policies being applied. So you can see here uh, Azure portal is in this tenant, no policies are being applied, right? So you, you have a few different reports like that. Cool. Okay, so now you've seen the problem and you want to create a conditional access policy. How do you start? Um, a really easy way is to use the conditional access policy templates where you can see a bunch of different types of templates from secure foundations to zero trust and so on. So let me pick one that says you need to have a compliant device or MFA for all users. We click that, click on review and create, and you can see without me doing lots of config, I have a ready-made template that I can apply to all users, excludes the current user and applies these policies. I just hit create and my tenant is now protected. Um, it creates by default in report only. You can, of course, change it when you're creating it. Uh, but once you're comfortable that there, are, there is no major impact, you can then go and turn it on and save it in your tenant. Hope you found that useful. Cheers.